Okay, now that I have created my image to place into my Illustrator background, I'm going to create an Illustrator document. So I'll go to Create New, and then I'm going to, I can select Custom, or I can type in the width, which uh, A3 size is what I'm going to do, and it's going to be portrait, not landscape. So the width I'm going to do as 297 millimetres, and the height will be 420 millimetres. I'm going to make sure I only have one artboard. Usually I would work in CMYK colour. This is black and white, so it doesn't really matter. The resolution will be 300 pixels per inch, and I'll click on Create. Now that I have my new page, I will go up to the top where it says File and down to Place. And I will locate my image that I'm after. And I'll import my Usher image onto the page. So you can see it's quite small because it wasn't a good resolution image anyway to begin with. Um, now, when I'm going to resize this image, I'm not going to move it from any of the center nodes. And the reason for that is if I do, it distorts it out of scale and proportion. And that's something that we always try and avoid in Viscom. So what I will do is I will hold it from a corner node and I will move it. So again, it's going to distort unless you hold down the shift key as you enlarge it or reduce it. So then if you hold down the shift key, it scales it in scale and proportion. So I'm going to arrange my picture on the page. It's not the best resolution because I should have gone and selected a, a high resolution image to start with. So I'm going to click on the background to do, uh, actually I'm going to select it and then uh, opacity we're going to take down to 30% because I just wanted in the background to work on top of. So that's uh, a lot softer now. And then object lock selection. So now that I've got that, image locked in the background, I can uh, begin to work on it with my type. So now I will save my work and continue on.